guys I did make the engine but um, it didn't work so I tried to repair it and I kind of broke it so what I'm going to do is make another one but now I know a few things probably I could improve on especially this in here improve on this thing and so it flows a bit more it's easier as it were so yeah have a go again but I'm going to do it off camera hi everyone so I was inspired by uh, a channel called paper engines and he made this into a really beautiful thing so you've seen the process how I tried to make the the first one and the first one didn't work so I kind of start again so what I did is when I made this um, uh, piston here sorry when I made this uh, piston here uh, this is this this is okay but it's not loose if you understand what I'm saying so I made them this one a bit more looser so it, when it when I put it in there like that it kind of falls down straight down so that's that kind of helped a bit I had to go with this design because I wasn't sure if the straw was working what was happening so I just I uh, just uh, met um, so I just went with this design. I, as you can see, I have used super glue here, but on this one, I used the liquid one, which I didn't realize, but so it looks so dirty. So the, on this one, I used um, uh, the gel, the gel super glue, which still looks a little bit dirty, but then that's the best I can do. Okay, so a few things I've done here. I had to put a bit of weight on here because this thing is this thing's not balancing so i have to put a bit of weight on um if i did this again i would make it as big i'd make it a bit uh, smaller because what's happening is hitting the sides and it, it was hitting the top top of the engine here i've also used a little um uh, little kind of a plastic straw kind of thing i have to make the engine loose and i put the I put them in here and here as uh, uh, kind of uh, washers. Now, what I found, what what he, what he was saying all the time is, is got is friction and stuff like that. So I made sure there's no friction by putting those things in there as bearings, so they they slip easily. I also didn't use paper for the main rod here I used uh, um, what do you call them I used um, toothpicks so as you can see I used toothpicks 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 so yeah it's kind of a paper engine now this one actually works which I'm very surprised but I'll show you now It needs a lot of blowing into it and um, I just can't keep the air up. So my my engine does not work on the balloon like um, paper engines does. Um, it, you know, if I want to make it work like a, on a balloon, I have to make it even better than what it is. But he says to me, you just got to keep trying again and again until you kind of get it perfect with this thing. I thoroughly enjoyed making this project. I took days and days on it, but it had to be done very carefully, more precisely than even what I've done here. As you can see, guys, I have used the glue gun as well as um, super glue. Okay, guys, this is the final test for this thing. I'm using the uh, air here. Uh, we're going to put that on this way around because that works better that way. Alright, watch this now. Thumbs up and give a like.
So guys, I put a big wheel on here. Uh, hopefully it was going to be easier, but I'm not too sure if it's easy. So I'll just show you it does work with it. So you can see it's working. It's a lot better with a bigger flywheel, you can see. So I'm happy with that. Subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. I like the bigger flywheel than I did with. Look how it goes.